Oh shit. Here we go again. I, I don't know if I really whoa. even want to let you speak right whoa, now, but whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, let's what see what this, you have to what say. What did she just say? She wants to get paid the same as Steph Curry. She the same didn't say as the same. At, For God's sake, you're a wizard. No, she basically did. She wants to get basically equal pay as the NBA players, which is crazy right now. I never heard the words equal pay out of her mouth, but she is making pennies. Like the top women no. players make a hundred thousand dollars a year that's if you're the best no i understand the average that. is a lot less than that no i understand that and they should be getting paid a little bit more but i, I mean anything drastic into the millions two millions i don't think that should be happening because the reason why they're getting paid so little is because they're not bringing in the same revenue as like these other sports especially like the nba there's a reason why lebron's bringing in 38 million dollars a year you know what and steph curry now is 45.7 like there's a reason why these guys are getting paid i'm fucking look at curry man fuck yeah give me that fucking motivation next quarter fuck yeah come on not so much is because they're drawing eyes to the nba the WNBA, not so much. Matt's just stomping all over women. No, I'm Valentine's not. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying Valentine's the facts. Like, I'm just saying the facts. Like, okay, Jess, here's the thing. Would you rather go? If I give you two tickets, right? I have one <laughs> ticket in one hand, one ticket to another. Would you rather go to a courtside WNBA game, or would you rather sit in the nosebleeds of an NBA Finals game? I'm gonna pick the courtside no, WNBA no, game. No, you're, yes. not. you're going to the. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Finals. First of all, I have, been given, I have been given Staples Center 300 level tickets to finals before. I didn't go. I'm never sitting in the 300s, <laughs> first of all. So, no, I don't want to go sit in the 300s the finals. I'm just saying, there, there's no excitement. There's no there's no players to draw them into that sport. Like, there, there's a couple, like Candace Parker, obviously, they won a championship not too long ago. Like, there are those players that draw in, but in terms of excitement, like, you're going to get paid as much as you're worth. And Candace Parker, she gets paid top dollar. For good reason. Top dollar but being a hundred thousand dollars when the men in comparison are making thirty million dollars, forty five million dollars. For good reason, because there's eyes on that sport. You this, know what I mean? There's there's uh WNBA players getting paid like teachers right now. And for good reason that's because they don't sad. Yeah, I know it's sad, but that's the overall picture. My nigga. <laughs> no, this my my thing is this. She hit it right on the, na the nail on the head when she said, I want to play in my country. This is the best women's basketball players that America has to offer, and we're shipping them overseas. That's not okay. That's where I think, you know what, she has a valid point. For, for the NBA to pay them, fine. Let's, if, if it, they're making 10 to 15 over, more overseas. That'd be a million dollars. If you even said half of that, if they were paid $500,000, that would be a drastic increase in their pay, which you can't argue with that. Why, if you're an American and you grew up here and you've given your life and soul to your sport, why do you have to go overseas to get the better pay? I'm just saying, like, some NBA players do that also. Like, some NBA players, they, yeah, they can't make it into the league. Because they can't overseas. make it here. But exactly. Still, but even going overseas, like, what's wrong with that? And then Ameri coming back here? America is the best. Like, when you're the best, you want to be in America. Why are the best women having to go elsewhere? I'm just saying, I totally agree with the point that they should be getting paid a little bit more than the, what they're making mm -hmm. because the average salaries, that's ridiculous. I mean, they're getting yeah. paid, what, average salaries like 70, 75,000 yeah. or something mm -hmm. like that? And yeah, I get that. But when she starts bringing NBA into the picture, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's going to stop right there. Because you know NBA is bringing in way, way, way more money than the WNBA. Whoa, I feel blessed. You wouldn't say that. Which is like, exactly you know why that. they can like shave off nothing and it would be such a drastic increase in pay for the whoa. women. And it wouldn't whoa. even affect the men whatsoever. I'm just saying, pay them a little bit more, but... Like I said, don't don't bring it to the NBA. Like I, I, when I heard that, I lost respect for her because I'm like, why why is she even talking about this? There's there's no question. They're they're not gonna. It sounds bad, but they're never gonna get paid like how the NBA is. If they need to get paid more, what do you think needs to happen? You need Jesus, ma'am. Find something that's gonna bring in revenue. You know, I mean, the NBA does it with with the drama, with the encore drama. They have LeBron, Steph, all these great players that can dunk, they can show highlights. I mean, unless they find that, I don't know what's going to happen, All you know? Right. Well, I'm with her and I'm saying NBA, time is up. We need to figure out a way to pay these ladies so they don't need to take 
the best talent that America has overseas. We should be housing that here in our country. So let us know what you guys think. I hope all you women show up to really like give it to Matt in the comments. <laughs> Would you who shut is up, on, man. Listen, who is on your list?